Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It is time for the next episode of Benadorm, episode six. So we shall get into this. Uh, of course, Benadorm is um, a series that is on both the Patreon and YouTube. It's an early access series. So when you're seeing, seeing this on YouTube, um, we will actually be a lot further ahead with Benadorm on Patreon. Um, and it is accessible in the cheapest tier, which is $1 a month. And that includes uh, other series that I'm doing, such as uh, Blackadder, uh, Thin Blue Line, uh, Not Going Out, Father Ted. Although we'll probably be finished with that by the time this is on YouTube. Oh no, oh no, uh, actually this will probably be on YouTube tonight. So yeah, all those shows I'm still doing at the moment. Um, also started Brooklyn Nine-Nine recently. You can get that on uh, Patreon as well. So yeah, consider joining us. Pick up five. Sorry, Troy. Unless you've got another king. I certainly have. Pick up ten, Donald. I think not. Pick up fifteen, Gavin. Well, this is ridiculous. There aren't fifteen cards to pick up. Calm down, Gladys. It's only a game. No, Gavin's right. It's too hot for cards. What say we all have a post-breakfast dip in the jacuzzi? Oh yes. That'll do for me. Come on. No, I'm fine here, thank oh, you. Nonsense. We're all going in. Come on. I'm sorry. I said no. Are you OK? Clearly not. Come on! <laughs> Last one in takes it on the ball! Woo! That'll be all of us! Time out. Right. Time out. I'm off to get my mum. You're going to talk to Mel. Aye, right, all right. You look nice, Mum. Thank you, darling. I'll be off then. Yeah. Oh, look. The watch is wrong. Yeah, can I just say, it might be an um, a unpopular opinion, but I think Siobhan Finneran is quite a, an attractive woman. She just is. I think she's gorgeous. It's the 12th, not the 11th. I say my watch is wrong. I'm sure it's the 12th today. Yeah, well, that's what you get for buying a cheap watch. Mum? Why don't you want my nana and Mel to get married? Oh, She's insisting on telling him the date. Oh, he's forgotten something, hasn't he? My dad said it's because Mel's a nutter. <laughs> Tell you... Kids are honest, they'll just say whatever they're, whatever they're thinking. Uh, why do we lose that as we get older? The, you know, the older we get, the braver you get. Why do we lose that... That bravery to just say whatever we're thinking as we get older. Well, most people do. Why don't you want my nana and Mel to get married? Well, my dad said it's because Mel's a nutter. <laughs> a nutter? <laughs> Tell you going to be all right with baby Coolio? Yeah, of course I am. He's my baby. On his right. PSP. See you back here later. The old... That's going back. I thought we could maybe go into the old time for our tea tonight. Just... Let you. me guess. It's all inclusive. You kids will be all right, won't you? Yeah. Oh, and you're joking, are you? What's the point of spending money out there when it's all paid for in here? No, you're right. No point at all. I mean, he's got a point, but he's clearly forgotten it's some sort of important day in their marriage. Dad, so... I think Mum's upset. I know. There's something wrong with her watch. <laughs> I don't want to make a big thing of this. I just... I just don't take my clothes off in public. This isn't about body image, is it? Yes, it is, actually. You've got to be joking. You're a fine figure of a man. Oh, please. Look, it's all about how you see yourself. I mean, at home, when I look in the mirror, I don't see a fat person. Really? Really? No, not at all. Right, I see. You must have one of them magic mirrors. Where'd you buy these mirrors? <laughs> Large vodka and orange, and the gin and tonic. Thanks, Phil. Bit early for this, isn't it? Do you want it or not? There's no need to take that tone with me, lady. It's not my fault your ignorant pig of a husband forgot your ten-year wedding anniversary. Oh, ten years! That's bad. We're not here to talk about Mick. 
We're here to talk about Mel. Oh, no. If you brought me here to... By the way, can I just say, all my uh, Scottish viewers, so you know how Iron Brew is the latest drink to be ruined due to the ridiculous sugar tax. So I'm sure you're all missing that proper Iron Brew taste. Well, it still exists in this. The Iron Brew energy drinks. Full sugar, it tastes exactly like Iron Brew used to when I was a kid. Not before the sugar tax. I mean, even back further then when it was even more the real deal. Because I'm sure, you know, over the last four or five years, they've been taking out like half a gram of sugar every few months. You can tell the difference over the course of time. I'm not imagining it. But this tastes like it used to when I was a kid. It's absolutely banging. So, get it. It's only a pound a can as well, for a big can. To try and talk me out of getting married to the man I love. You can stick your vodka and orange up your ass. The man you love, you've only known him 20 minutes. We'll have known each other four weeks on Saturday. Four weeks? And on Saturday, I'll be having a white wedding on the beach here in Benidorm. A white wedding? Who the frig's going to be wearing white? You or him? <laughs> oh, very funny. And you can stay away if you'll be coming out with vicious comments like that. Don't talk rubbish. As if I'm going to stay away from your mother's wedding. Oh, wouldn't make much difference to me. None of my other six daughters will be there. And why do you think that is? Because they're not on holiday with us. No, because you've systematically alienated every one of them. Oh, look who swallowed a bloody dictionary. <sighs> they may as well be aliens. I'd see them more often. I just don't want someone you've known for three weeks to drive a wedge between us. No, but you're happy for him to pay for your holiday. You didn't tell me he'd paid until we got here. I thought you'd paid. Don't you raise your voice to me, lady. And it's four weeks, not three weeks. Three weeks, four weeks, does it matter? Just think about what you're doing, Mother. Don't you worry. I know exactly what I'm doing. And I also know that on our 10-year wedding anniversary, I won't be spending it on my own in an empty Spanish bar crying into my gin and tonic. I mean, I don't know exactly how old Mel and Madge are, but judging by how much Madge smokes and the fact that Mel has died twice on this holiday already, I reckon the place that they'll be spending their 10-year wedding anniversary is on her mantelpiece. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Like you. Here we go. Coffee, black, like your women. <laughs> Just a joke to break the ice. We've not really had a chance to talk, have we? So, are you and Madge getting married? You sorted out the OK Magazine deal yet? <laughs> you think yourself a bit of a comedian, don't you? Depends how tough the crowd is. Oh, do you know what I think? No, I'm a comedian, not a mind reader. <laughs> I think as a man in your late 40s, you should spend less time poking your nose into other people's business and more time looking after your own affairs. Look, can Maggie we... and I are in love, we're getting married. Deal with it. I'm 41. <laughs> yeah? I mean, I agree, though, you know, they're not kids. They're all more than old enough to make their own decisions, even if it's a bad decision. So, just ease off a bit. Give us it here. You know I've been fiddling with that for 20 minutes. Not that I've been watching you. My name's Jack. You're very confident for a 12-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 24. Well, it's just the date you're trying to change, is it? Yeah. And if you can't do it, just give it us back. I need to go and find my mother before her battery runs out. <laughs> you are absolutely gorgeous. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Uh, yeah. Does your mother know you talk to women like this? My mum died last year. I'm sorry. My dad as well. Oh, really? Me and my sister bought this place with the money they left us. Well, I'm very sorry to hear about your parents, Jack. And it's lovely to hear your life story, but I better get going. Hang on. I'm nearly there. You remembered my name. Yeah, 
I did, didn't I? Well, he said it like 20 seconds ago. That means ago. we should run off together into the Mediterranean sunset and get married. All right, I'm up for it. <laughs> Seriously. I'd marry you tomorrow. You're gorgeous. <laughs> I've got enough weddings to go to this week, thank you. All right. I'll settle for a kiss. OK, Jack. We've established you're genuinely hilarious. What we haven't established is that I'm married. Mm. What happens in Benidorm stays in Benidorm. I had Just a feeling he was going to say that. Goodbye, Jack. You'll have a pint for your drinks. Oh, my bag's on my mother's wheelchair. I'm sure we can come to some arrangement. What, a kiss yeah. for the drinks? Yeah. There's your change. What are you doing? Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Bye. That better not be the way this is going, by the way. You know, a, a wedding between her mother and, the, and Mel, but her marriage to Mick's going to break up. That better not be where they're going with this. Kelly, how are you? Hello, Mr Stewart, Mrs Stewart. Oh, what a lovely surprise. Come and sit down. Thanks. Now, how's your mum after that terrible business in the pool? Oh, she's OK, thanks. She says she's going to sue the hotel and pay to have the woman's kneecaps broken. You know, the one who threw her in. Still a bit upset, then? You could say that. Oh, dear. And how are you? Well, that's why I'm here, to be honest. I need some advice. Go on. I went to work last night and, well, this was waiting for me. Oh, I haven't got my glasses. Oh. Dear Kelly, I love you. Kelly, I need you. You are not like the other English pig girls. You are kind, beautiful, and you do not smell. You've got to admit, he's got away with words. <laughs> if we cannot be together, I ask for one last night of passion. I know you want this. With one night of passion, I will show you that you need me as much as I need me. <laughs> what? As much as I need me? Sadly enough, I don't think that's a mistake. No, me neither. Oh, this is a good bit. The throbbing of my heart for you is as big as the throbbing in my trousers, Matteo. Oh, I think I like him again now. P.S. Please do not show this letter to your mother. She is crazy like stabbed bull. <laughs> no, actually, he has got a point with that last bit. I mean, yeah, Isn't but... Isn't it a shame when the nice-looking ones always turn out to be the nutters? I mean, look at Terry Seacombe. Pass your pen to Kelly Jacqueline. I think we know how to sort this out. Dear Matteo. Oh, hey, oh. We should travel more, you know. I mean, I know this holiday hasn't exactly gone to plan, but just feel that sun. Next holiday, I know it sounds crazy, but no planning, no booking, just get up and go. Can you imagine how liberating that would be? Yes. She crying? I know it's ridiculous, but can you imagine going to the airport? Oh, that's a face your fear. Or feel, feel the fear and Do it. I don't know. Running up to the desk and saying, here's my passport, here's my money, you decide where I'm going. To hell with the consequences, I just need to goddamn get away. <laughs> Is it the baby thing again? Yes. I'm writing these postcards and I don't know half the people's addresses. What are you writing them for then? I don't know. I can always give them to people when we get home. Save on stamps that way as well. <laughs> are you, you all right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fine, thanks. 
Hello, it's Chantal, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, I was speaking to your mum the other day, and this is your son. Can we have a look at him? Oh, he's taken the sun well, hasn't he? Mum! <laughs> She didn't. She didn't. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, he's taking the sun well, hasn't he? <laughs> oh, he's taking the sun well, hasn't he? <laughs> Mum! <laughs> he's mixed race. Oh, right. Like your father. My late husband was half Irish, although you'd never know from just looking at him. Really? Mind you, and never moved his arms when he was dancing, so the clues were there. Jeff, we're going to ask if you could look after my son if we went out for a drink together. Oh, lovely! Uh, yeah, I, I was going to ask you, but I forgot. Oh, no, that's God. smashing. When are you going out tonight? Mm. Yeah. No. I was thinking about maybe tomorrow night. Oh, All no, right. Irene. No, actually, tomorrow night's better for me. I'm a bit tied up tonight. I thought we was just doing karaoke tonight. No, no, I'm quite busy tonight. Busy doing what? You know, people to see, places to go. What people have you got to see? You don't know anybody here. <laughs> just people. And what places have you got to go to? You've not been outside the building since we got here. Yeah, exactly. Which is why I've got to do all my stuff tonight, innit? it? Well, stuff if tonight, you say innit? So. Yeah, I do. Right. And don't forget well, to do your hair. <laughs> anyway, is tomorrow okay for you? Lovely. You bring him any time you want. All right. Well, maybe see you later. Yeah. Cool. Whatever. I go into the chapel and we're going to get married. <laughs> Will you shut up? <laughs> oh, dear. Right, I'll have to get back. I've left someone halfway through Wig Wamba. Excuse me. <laughs> I need to find my wife. Well, I'm not stopping you. No, sorry, I mean, have you seen her? What's she look like? You've seen her with me. Blonde, about average height, very pretty, late 30s, looks younger. Slight intolerance to wheat. <coughs> no, I can't think who you mean. Looks... Hiya, I'm looking for my wife. Can you help me find her? He starts going through physical descriptions and then ends it with slight intolerance to wheat. <laughs> Quite miserable most of the time. Oh. Away? Away? No, I'm not seeing her today. I just assumed she'd gone for a walk, but she's taken her clothes, suitcase. She hasn't left a message here for me. No. Yeah, she's Jenny, gone. Jenny, I need you to read this. I'm busy. Jenny, please. Oh, for Christ's sake, give us it here. Dear Matteo, I am sorry I have been avoiding you. You are right. Even if we cannot be together, you deserve one last night of passion. Room 204, Love, Kay. You did not get to get. Kate. Oh, no. No, Martin. It's not what you think. It's Kelly. Oh, shit. Come on, you breeders. Wham, bam, bam, sham. Oh, they're sitting at separate tables. That's a bit extreme. Oh, look, she just came out the door. Look, don't let them get you down. I'm all right. Well, you don't look all no, right. No, you don't. You've been upset since you came back this afternoon. I said I'm Well, that could be a different emotion, Mick. Hmm, little thing called guilt. Fine. I don't give a shit if they never talk to us ever again. Well, I do. That's my mother. If they want to get married, I say let them get on with it. 
Yeah, what is marriage anyway? It don't mean anything. It's only a bit of paper. Oh, this is the wrong day for you to be saying this kind of stuff, Mick. Especially after you've missed, forgotten it. What day it is. Mum, are you alright? Oh. Johnny's, what's wrong? What's the matter, love? <laughs> hey! Mick. So that letter, Donald told her to write, told her what to write, so what? Kelly. You're not fine. Come on, what have I done? Just tell me what I've done. What have you done? Ten years married and you didn't even buy your wife a card. What are you whittering on about, you daft dumb? Oh, my God. It's all right. You have the brass neck cheek to criticise my fella. You know better than animals. The lot of you. The lot of you? Unbelievable. Are you including me? Now, fair enough if you're going off at these two, but leave the other two alone, eh? I'm so sorry. It's all right. But ten years. It's fine. I'm not bothered about that, honestly, Mick. I love you. I love you so much. I love you too. Come here. Just try a little wig wham bam. You were getting a bit into that, wasn't it? Yeah. It's all right, darling. I want to sing it. I'm going to sing it for your dad. Aww. Come on, Dad! Have you and me and Mum really been married ten years, Dad? Yes, son. Ten wonderful years. <laughs> Every night I grab some money and I go down to the bar I got my buddies and a beer, I got a dream, I need a car You got me begging on my knees, come on and throw the dog a bone A man who doesn't live by rock and blue and blue alone Baby, baby Rock and roll and brew, rock and roll and brew They don't mean a thing when I compare them next to you Rock and roll and brew, rock and roll and brew What's he gonna do? Kate! Kate, hold on, I'm coming! Oh. Ma! 
Doctor, how the devil are you? Oh, no. Where's that going? <laughs> I knew it was something to do with them two. I was trying to see if it was her in the bed because, you know, when she was like, oh, when, when Mateo walked in, it didn't sound, it sounded like her. And I thought, hmm. Oh, my God, I'm sorry. Oh, I my God. No worries. Are you off to the karaoke? <laughs> We're nearly done here. Gloves? Oh, Vaseline. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'll see, see you downstairs. Oh, <laughs> Mateo. <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, they're about to parties. <laughs> they're about to parties balloon knot like Moses parted the sea. Rolling room, rocking, rolling room. She's good in shape. She is actually. Thing when I compare her next to you, I don't know who you are, what you do, where you go, and you're not around. I don't know anything about you, baby, but you're everything I'm dreaming of. I don't know who you are, but you're a real dead ring of the love. A real dead ring of the love. Very good. There we go, that's the end. Well, that was a bit more of a torn down episode compared to the last few, but I, it was good, yeah. You can't believe if you got 10 years though, that's that's bad, yeah. But I did mention, I, I literally said, with them arranging a wedding for Madge and Mel, is that because they're also arranging for the marriage between Mick and Janice to break up. So I'm glad that, you know, by the end it's all good again. Because I, I, I'd have hated that, you know. Good episode. Mateo, um, yeah, in the next episode, I've got a feeling he's going to be walking a bit funny. Yeah. No, he, he, he's going to be able to walk down both sides of that pool side at once in the next episode. Judging by uh, what those two have got in store for him. <laughs> what was it? Room 204. Was it 204? Was it 204? I think it was 204, right? Yeah, room 204. Yeah. Oh dear. Very painful experience. For Mateo in room 204 tonight. <laughs> My cucumber. I can't believe. Oh, them two are just weird, aren't they? But yeah, I can't believe Janice, you know. After he, after that young lad kissed her. She went back. In for another. It wasn't him. He didn't even have to say anything. He kissed her, and then it's like, oh, what are you doing? And then she went back. Yeah, I'm surprised about that. So, is he going to be a bit like, um, what do you call it? A recurring problem? Is he going to be back in the future? Or is it just going to be, oh, they've made up now, that's it. I guess we'll find out. But anyway, yeah, so that's the end. Thanks everybody for watching. Um, as I mentioned in the beginning, if you want to get the uh, if you want to get access to these episodes earlier, then you can join the Patreon and get early access to everything else. 
and um, you can also vote in any future polls regarding new new content. And um, I think there'll be another movie coming soon as well. I'm just having a think at the moment about which movie I want to do. Once I've decided, yep, there'll be a new one, new movie coming soon. So, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in the next one. Good night.